16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, oh. 22. Hello there. You just caught me performing a very basic test on my three non-woven coverall materials. I rub the fabric with this coin and count the number of rubs it takes to get through. It's a simple but effective way to test abrasion. At first glance, microporous film is destroyed, but Tyvek and SMS seem to cope. I have also performed some other tests uh, to assess the impact of abrasion on liquid protection. Uh, for CE certification, tests are typically executed on a brand new, unused piece of material. I, on the other hand, have performed an abrasion test first, simulating wear in everyday use. After that, I put the different materials to different tests. One on liquid barrier and one on chemical barrier both in accordance with European standards. Here's what our three materials look like after 10 cycles of abrasion. Visually, only the microporous film seems to have suffered some damage. Then I tested how well our samples resisted penetration by water. According to hydrostatic head ENISO 2811, Prior to the abrasion test, microporous <laughs> film performs the best. But after just 10 cycles of abrasion, its performance takes a spectacular dive. While SMS is less affected and Tyvek continues to protect. This is perfectly logical when you know the structure of these materials. So I invite you to have a look at my research on that topic. I also tested the chemical barrier of the samples before and after abrasion with two commonly used chemicals. Tyvek outperforms microporous film and SMS by far. Its permeation barrier against this typical acid and base shows the highest level of protection after abrasion compared to the other materials and retains excellent chemical barrier. In conclusion, after abrasion, Tyvek provides a far better barrier to liquids and chemicals than microporous film and SMS. All three of these coveralls are CE certified, but which one would you feel safest wearing?